Hello, thank you for clicking on this Fun with Pete and Sherry video. I am your host, Mr. Julian. This is your co-host, Tipsy, and today I am going to be reviewing a new scotch for you. Uh, at least it just hit Virginia. I understand you folks in Europe may have had it for a while. Uh, but it is not just a new whiskey. It is a new Balvenie. And uh, Balvenie scotches have gotten uh, very high reviews from me uh, along the way. So you know I'm excited. Or at the very least, you know I was excited when I picked it up. This is Balvenie Single Barrel First Fill 12-Year-Old. Now there's a story behind that name, and the story, obviously, uh, if you've seen my previous reviews, is that this is the scotch that is the successor to and a replacement for you. I say this scotch, uh, Balvenie Single Barrel 15 Years. Now, do I really want uh, this one to be phased out in favor of anything? No, I don't, because this is, in my opinion, the best scotch you can buy uh, in Virginia right now. God, I hate those dogs. So I mentioned how disappointed I was that uh, this scotch is being phased out, and my uh, sense of unease that it didn't bode well for what Balvenie was doing. Now they've come out with this one using entirely first fill barrels. Which is odd, because why would we have assumed that Balvenie was doing anything other than that uh, in their single barrel 15 year old? I swear that is very odd. No, there's, there's nothing on this bottle that would suggest that this uh, was aged or matured in a refilled barrel. And uh, it raises the question, is, in one way or another, is this, a, is this a real distinction being drawn or a concocted distinction to um, It'll make us not feel that something's been taken away by the loss of the three years. Uh, you may be thinking, well, it couldn't be concocted. Something is surely it's either a first fill barrel or it's a refill barrel. Um, not necessarily. Uh, consider how many barrels are, or consider how many scotches are double matured now. Uh, you know, many times that double maturation, they use a barrel for only a few months the first time it's used, uh, such a barrel would, would still, you know, for all intents and purposes, be a first fill barrel. But it would technically be a refilled barrel. Also, I mean, you could have a refilled barrel um, that had, had been used for only a, a short time that was from a premium bourbon, um, or a, a first fill from a, from a lower shelf bourbon, and uh, you would still expect to get a lot more uh, flavor and good stuff out of the refilled bourbon uh, barrel in that case. Uh, it's not just that it's flavored by the premium bourbon, but it also uses the good wood to begin with. That's why premium bourbon is premium bourbon. Um, so, now speculation. Let's find out what happened here. All right. Before this settles down, there's a sort of yeast top. Then for just sort of a moment, there's a little malt, caramel, vanilla, but that quickly goes away. You're really left with just lemon cakes. Citrus. Powdered sugar. Little baked crust. Lemon cake. Sansa Stark would love it. Alright, la 
class test. Initially it's quite sweet, um, perhaps not as smooth as um, the older one, but that, that's to be expected. Predominant flavors here are citrus and florally uh, notes as well. Um, A bit reminiscent of uh, Glenmorangie. Although something else, uh, that's certainly not in Glenmorangie, a, a, a sort of a minerally uh, taste that I don't recall having tasted in any uh, scotch other than Ardbeg. Um, not that it has anything to do with the peat in Ardbeg, just it's a slight stony note. This really tastes very much like a uh, Balvenie double wood, devoid of its fruity coating. Fine, inoffensive, perfectly good, decent scotch. But, the soul, the character, the depth, the animating brilliance of this scotch is, is nowhere to be found. Well, I should say nowhere. In the aftertaste, little bits of it come in the more complex, the, uh, the malty, the, um, the date, the orange peel. Uh, the plum, but it's almost like you're, like when you hear your name and then you aren't sure you really heard it, it's, a, you're not sure if it's really there or not. Um, now, I say, I, I love the presentation here. Uh, look at the color. I mean, it's so light. It's so light. Most uh, whiskey companies are frankly afraid to release something that light because people don't understand that that's... Not a bad thing. Um, so there's no color in here. It's uh, it's it's non-chill filtered. Served at forty-seven point eight percent. When a distillery releases a scotch, uh, you know, with this presentation, it's a, it's a message. They're saying we're targeting you the sort of serious Scotch enthusiast who would uh, who would watch or, or make, uh, you know, a, a Scotch uh, review video. You know, uh, we're targeting people who uh, know what they're looking for, what good Scotch is supposed to be. That's the message. But is there truth to that message? Don't think just because I like Balvenie a lot that I don't think they've had their share of misfires. They have. Um, uh, Balvenie Madeira, uh, I think, worked. Uh, a lot of people seem to like Balvenie uh, Rum Cask, but I don't. Uh, and Balvenie Signature was not to my liking at all. It quickly disappeared from uh, the shelves, so I don't think I was alone. I'm going to have a taste of this just to note the contrast. See, this is why I say what they're saying isn't true, but, <laughs> well, first fill, non-first fill, that's a piece of the truth. This 
more going on here. Why is this so dark? You can't tell me that it got that much darker from three years in a barrel uh, after it had already been in the barrel for 12 years. The, um, the beauty of the world is here. I mean, it, so much rich, fresh fruit. Um, where is all that coming from if, if this was not from a barrel that was the equal or superior of this one? Just the three years? If three years alone could do that, it would be a crime against humanity to take the scotch out of the bottle at this age. I'm giving Balvenie single barrel, first fill, 12 year old, a 7.8. Overpriced uh, here in Virginia, about $85. I expect to see it disappear from the shelves as uh, quickly as Signature did. Uh, thank you. I'll see you next time.